Why is it important to remember the unfinished dreams of Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement, the unfulfilled dreams of the founders? Because when we remember those dreams, they can become guides and guardians to our dreams, my dreams, an inhabitable world for my grandchildren and their children's children. A world where the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness belong to all of us. Created equal, yes, but not the same, and made stronger because of our differences. A world that doesn't continue to reward shamelessness, but one that recognizes shame as a doorway to grace. A world made more possible by speaking truth to power while continuing to remember the power of speaking the truth. A world where because we speak the truth, we can reconcile the fact that besides being a nation of immigrants, we are also a nation of invaders and occupiers and promise breakers and treaty busters And I say these things knowing that they are transformative dreams in need of the only transformative thing there is. Love. And to my generation, as we prepare to leave this world, what in the world are we, are you, am I prepared and preparing to leave? What are our dreams for such a world? And with the time that's left, what are we prepared to do to realize them. Will we choose grace over grievance, hope over despair, faith over doubt, love over fear? Can we dare to make such choices? Can we afford not to? Life is a journey, one we undertake as individuals, as parts of families, communities, a country, the world. At times that journey may become, by choice, and chance or circumstance a pilgrimage, a journey of exalted purpose or moral significance. So it was for the founders, and so it was for those who changed history during the Civil Rights Movement. And because of them, those of us who visit sites made sacred by their sacrifice can, at least for a moment, call ourselves pilgrims. And if or when our moment comes, know what it's like to stand on the shoulders and walk in the footsteps of those who have gone before us. Remember the dream is simply a glimpse at one of the most inspiring moments in American history. A moment that bent the arc of the moral universe toward justice and inspires me to believe that if we can remember enough of the story, if we can remember the history and the dream behind it, we may find ways to repeat it in some essential and spiritual ways. And so continue to work toward and become part of what Dr. King so often referred to as the beloved community. On the bus, Heading back to the airport at the end of the pilgrimage, David, who had helped dream the idea of the pilgrimage up and was instrumental in finding ways to make it happen, spoke to us. And what struck me most, not what he said, but how he looked when he talked about the unfamiliar joy he was feeling at that moment. As we dream going forward, May we dream big enough, with dreams filled full enough, with the only transformative thing there is. Dreams wise enough so that our grandchildren and their children may know what it feels like to be filled with such unfamiliar joy.
Love is a candle that lights up the night. Love is a star that fall we follow to daylight. Love is a lighthouse that leads us safely home. The surest light we'll ever.